might surprise you, but did you know that before coming to WWE, Batista was told by a WCW talent scout that he'd never make it in sports entertainment? Are you kidding me? I don't know how you could miss on a guy like Batista, but in retrospect, I guess that actually explains a lot. No, not again! Uh-oh, what are we going to see here? To sum up Brock Lesnar and the attitude he brings with him into the squared circle, I'd go with intense and intensity. I mean, he's a performer who's always looking as if he's on the verge of it, exploding with rage. Now, I'm not sure what it is that's always got him so wound up, but then there's that energy in Brock Lesnar that not a lot of other superstars have. Six. This Seven. one could end in a countout. He's going to take another chance, and he gets back in. Oh, Brock Lesnar. Watch out! Watch out! Sometimes when you go high risk, you crash and burn. And sometimes you knock it out of the park. And that was a perfect example of hitting it big. You know, Brock didn't get to where he is by two things at half speed, Michael. This is a superstar who will stop at nothing to get what he wants. They don't call him the Beast Incarnate for nothing. Batista is scaling the ropes for a second time. Two. One. Wow, what a reversal by Lester. Yeah, I know they call him the Beast, but that was just beautiful. Doing whatever it takes to win. Oh. Uh oh, I'm not sure. But with a miss like that, I'm wondering if he has something in his eye. Well, we've seen Batista since his early days here in WWE. And while we knew he'd be a force, I don't think anyone would have predicted that he'd evolve into the animal we know and fear today. Batista's got him. And Cole. He's heading back. Look at this. You can stop. I remember the first time I saw the genetic freak Batista in the ring. I knew he would be special. But like I said, I had no idea he would reach such heights. Many consider him to be a sure first ballot WWE Hall of Famer. And that's a tough point to argue. And Batista heads for the top rope. He may get 
get the three count right here. Batista, it's all about a man who can crush you with raw power. Just look at the name, The Animal. Batista's a genetic freak like no other and has backed that up time and time again throughout his career. Batista's strength is like something out of the pages of a comic book or scenes from a Hollywood blockbuster. For Batista, it's all about establishing dominance, like a lion in the jungle, establishing what's his. The animal's power is dominating and unrelenting. from WWE. Remember after his vicious string of battles with John Cena, the animal took the microphone on Raw and said, that's it, I'm done. And he left. And Batista was not seen in WWE for four years. Then he returns in 2014 and wins the Royal Rumble. The animal picked up right where he left off. Lesnar had that scouted. And we're going back between the ropes. I'm not sure if he knows where he is right now. He thinks he has it. Up. He 
these athletes seem to have tried everything in their playbook. Oh, there's more in their arsenal. I promise you that. I don't know what it is, but they'll find it. the release. 